Hello again, everyone. This is Chris Sheridan. That's Robert Hardy. This is the Citizen Sports Weekly for Thursday, November 12, 2015. Week 10 of the NFL schedule? Is it week 10 already? Wow, that's it's right. week 10. And uh, we're doing this on Thursday. Uh, there is a game tonight, so by the time you guys see this video, the game's probably going to be over with. But that's Robert's Buffalo Bills and the New York Jets. Now, before we get started, we are going to recap last week quickly. Yes, Robert was up to... Yeah, let's recap. Robert's very anxious for this part. I would have been funny if I hadn't said anything. I'm sure he would have <laughs> brought it up at the end. But Robert was a perfect 6-0. and He nailed them all. Congratulations. That doesn't happen every week. No. It's you, Blue Moon. I, you've done it once. Yeah, it, you know? it's rare. It's tough to do. It's, it is tough. It's an elusive task. Even though we only picked six, it is yes. challenging. And not only did he get a perfect week, he has caught and tied me overall with a record of 35-19. and 19. That's right. So the race is on. This is, this is why this week's games are even more important. And starting with tonight's game, the Buffalo Bills, Roberts Bills, uh, on the road uh, at the Jets, Rex Ryan returns to the Meadowlands. And um, this is going to be a fun game, no doubt about it. And um, I'm going with the Bills. Me too. I'm going with the Bills. I'll tell you why. Number one, even though it's a short week, divisional game, it's not like they're, they're traveling far, folks. They could have busted this game, okay? <laughs> Buffalo to the northern New Jersey nice. is not that far a trip. It's probably about a six-hour drive, but, mm -hmm. you know, seven-hour drive maybe. But anyways, they're going to fly because that's what pro teams do. But I think Rex Ryan's familiarity with the Jets roster is going to is going to be the key here. Even though I'm sure there's some players have changed from last year, I think that most of the, most of the players he still knows and knows pretty well. I think that's going to have a factor. I think the Bills coming off that shellacking of my Dolphins last week is is going to be a big thing. They're they're healthy. They're playing with confidence, and uh, the defense definitely looked pretty good. Uh, the Jets, Fitzpatrick's banged up. I don't know who on offense their, of their team scares me. Obviously, their defense is pretty darn good. But I think the Bills can run the ball like they did last week. And I like the Bills in this game. You know, as much as I uh, think the running game will be, you know, I think this is going to be a Tyrod Taylor, Sammy Watkins kind of game. All right. Just run defense is tough. So, you know, if they can have the same rapport they did, uh, well, I say yeah. last week, a few days ago, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think I think they'll win this one. Of course, I'm taking the Bills. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, I think Rex, as much as he's trying to downplay, you know, his feelings about this game, I think he's fired up. You know, you got fired after being a head coach in New York for how many seasons? Five, 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 five years. seasons. Yeah. So, you know, uh, you know, he had some good years there, had some bad ones, gets fired. Of course, you know, you want to go back. And, and show them how it's done, I suppose. Right. And, um, and did you notice how Rex Ryan is trying to do things to like deflect it from him, even when he has to talk? I mean, he comes into a press conference wearing a Clemson football helmet. His, his son plays for Clemson. He's wearing a Clemson football helmet. He's being the goofball. Why is he doing that? Because then he's going to take questions about, like, why are you wearing a helmet? Rex, all that crazy Rex Ryan. Instead of, like, well, Rex is going up against his old team. You know, what's going You know, it, he's, he's smart. He knows how to play the media. No doubt about it. Why so, do you think he announced the captain's pick I, so soon? That was just, I think that was kind of idiotic, to be honest with you. Well, there's that. But. I know. But that might actually motivate the Jets, to be honest with you. If I'm a right. Jet, I'm motivated by that. So we'll see if it backfires. All right. Anything else you want to say about that game? We're good. All right, the next game is my Miami Dolphins. You know, it's tough, <laughs> tough days. Wow. I had to get this guy another Tim Hortons frozen hot chocolate on Monday what morning. What did we determine? Five out of the last six? Five out of the last seven or something. It's Poor frustrating. Guy. Poor guy. I'm, I'm getting I – I actually proposed to him a quadruple or nothing if the Bills make the playoffs or not. But I, I backed off on it because I don't want to make it look like I was welching. I always pay off on my bets. But the Dolphins – Travel up to another north northeastern city, Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love, <laughs> the city where they boot Santa Claus, the city where they throw batteries at opposing players. Heck, I think they throw batteries at their own players sometimes. Sometimes. And uh, this is going to be a tough game for the Dolphins. And you know, I would love to pick them to win this game. I really think they have the potential to win this game. But you know, last week showed me a lot that this team really, for all Dan Campbell's motivational tactics and tough talk and everything else and the Dolphins are they love to talk tough but realistically they can't back it up and I hate to say that I really do um, you know this team definitely needs a lot of changes and especially on defense offensive line and I just don't like the matchups here I think Philadelphia their offense high speed is going to is really going to hurt Miami they're going to run the ball with DeMarco Murray they're not going to let the game go into Sam Bradford's hands 
And Miami's offense, I mean, you know, you can talk about they, 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 their average per carry is one of the highest in the NFL, and they're going to try to run the ball more. But I just don't see this happening, and I see them losing within 10 points to the Eagles in this game. Yeah, I'm taking the Eagles too. Um, you know, the Dolphins, uh, probably one of my disappointments of the first half. I had this team go in the playoffs. I didn't. You know, I'm not a Dolphins yeah. fan, but, you know, I was kind of high on this team, yeah. and uh, uh, clearly if I haven't gone in the playoffs. Maybe I did. I can't check <laughs> my, my picks then, but, yeah, it, it is disappointing. But, you know, the, the, this week, the, the matchup, you know, I think, you know, this is a game that they could win. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, the NFC East, of course, isn't that strong. No. You know, this Eagles team, you know, we talked about it last week, you know, they I mean, they're they're a really weird team. I mean, from week to week, you don't know what yeah, you're going to get. Right. It's almost like a box of chocolates. And, and the Eagles, I mean, they're coming off an emotional win on the road, mm-hmm. a divisional game at Dallas. And I don't know who they're playing next week, but, you know, maybe they overlook Miami. Maybe they just, like, you know, they're they're just a little emotionally of a letdown mm-hmm. looking past Miami in this game. So that may be Miami's only chance. But I, I just, again, this is a team that has flaws, run defense, and and, and, and just, you know, this bad things happen to this team. They just can't seem to put it together. I mean, they had the one game against Houston a couple of weeks ago, a couple of weeks week before that against Tennessee, but those are bad teams. The Eagles are a decent team, and I just don't see this happening. So, all righty, next game is a rematch of Super Bowl eleven back from 1977. That is the Oakland Raiders and the Minnesota Vikings. And if you remember that game, you remember the Raiders beat the Vikings. I believe the score was 32-14, to 14, if I remember correctly. Kenny Stabler, Fran Tarkington, some great matchups back then. And the Raiders, all of a sudden, maybe not all of a sudden, but quietly they've been, and I've said this before, the Raiders are having a very good year. They're in this thing. I think they could actually pull out a wild card here. And, uh, you know, when you're when you're a better team, you're an improving team, you have to win games at home. You can't really lose many home games. The Vikings are another good team that's surprising. They're in contention in the NFC North, no doubt about it. Teddy Bridgewater... Teddy Bridgewater took a pretty nasty hit last week from the Rams. I don't know how banged up he is. He says he's okay. Um, but, you know, so the, I like the Raiders in this game. I just think that this is a team that's coming together. Every week they get a little more confidence. They play a little bit better. Amari Cooper, I think arguably maybe Rookie of the Year candidate here. And Derek Carr, arguably one of the better quarterbacks in the NFL now, probably the best young quarterback in the NFL. I like the Raiders. Yeah, I'm taking the Raiders too, you know, we, even if uh, Bridgewater was, you know, definitely going to play in this game, I, I would still take the Raiders. I, you know, I think what Jack Del Rio's done, you know, taking some young talent, you know, really, you know, improve that defense at least to the point where you know they can compete in games. You know, in the past, the, you know, yeah. you could walk into Oakland or, you know, play Oakland and, uh, you know, you could torch that defense. Now, you know, Charles Woodson providing some stability back there, and uh, you know, with that young offense, you know, you mentioned Derek Carr. Mm-hmm. You know, Latavius Murray, if he yeah. plays, you know, Murray Cooper. You know, they have some good weapons there. Uh, don't mess around with that team. They, okay. you know, they can certainly get the job done. Next game is Kansas City at Denver. Denver had a really bad loss against the Colts last week. Uh, Peyton Manning just did not play a great game. You could argue, maybe you say that, you know, physical things are starting to affect them as the season goes by. If I'm Denver, I want to run the football. I really do not want to lay this in Peyton Manning's hands and, I think Denver will run the football. Uh, their defense had a bad game. I think they're going to come back. I like the Broncos to beat the Chiefs in this AFC West matchup. Yeah, I'm taking the Broncos too. I, you know, the Chiefs. Uh, you know, another team that's disappointed mm-hmm. me this year. Uh, I just don't think they they have it all together. And Denver, even as inconsistent as Manning has been this year, uh, they still find a way to win. At least most games, yeah. they didn't find a way to win last week. But you know, that defense uh, most of the time can get the job done for them. Our next game is, I think, one of the bigger games of the week. And, again, these two teams have matched up in a couple of Super Bowls. Both of them were pretty memorable. The New England Patriots at the New York Giants. This is a ga- I know this is a game that's like, can the Giants do it? Can, can the Giants actually beat the Patriots? I mean, you know, they, they did in the Super Bowl when nobody thought they could. This is a regular season game. And Tom Coughlin knows how to coach against Bill Belichick. And, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on here, a lot of things. And, um uh, I'm just going to come out and say I'm going to pick the Giants. Wow. I'm picking the Giants. Wow. I think the Meadowlands, MetLife Stadium is going to be frothing at the mouth. I wonder what Kristen Wolford will think of that. I think she'll like that pick. She might. She will. And (laughs) I like the Giants for a couple reasons. I think Eli Manning, you know, obviously this guy is inconsistent. He'll throw a pick six, then he'll throw a great touchdown pass. 
But this is a guy who always plays big in big games, and this is a big game for the Giants. They have to win this game uh, to stay in the NFC uh, East lead, okay, or around the lead, I should say. And Eli Manning, I think, is going to have a great game. And then I think Jason Pierre-Paul's return to the Giants' defense has been important, and I think it's helped them out. And uh, I think a pass rush, again, we always say that's how you get to Brady, is a good pass rush. I'm not saying it's going to be a, a, a round or anything, but I think it's going to be a very close game. It can come to a late field goal, but I like the Giants to knock off the Patriots. Well, I wouldn't be Kristen's friend if I didn't pick the Patriots. <laughs> All right. Do you want to elaborate, or you just want to leave it at that? Well, I'll just say that uh, you know I will say you know Coughlin in the past has had uh, you know the Patriots number, uh, but I think you know I think New England's just the yeah. better team. You yeah. know, I, they're they're a juggernaut right now. Right. Uh, I don't think anything's going to stop them. I think they'll beat the Giants. Right. Last game is the cha- maybe the changing of the guard in the NFC West, Arizona at Seattle. Uh, Arizona, I mean, again, here's a team that got off to a great start last year. Carson Palmer got hurt. Palmer's healthy now, knock on wood. Uh, Arizona's played some very good football. And Seattle got off to a bad, I think they were, what, 0-2, 0-3? Uh, they got off to a really bad start. I think they're starting to play a little bit better. They're at home. It's so tough to win on the road uh, at Seattle. And that's part of the reason why I like the Seahawks. I just think this is a home team. that This is, this is a game they need to get, to get back into things. I like the Seahawks in a close one over the, over the uh, Cardinals. Yeah, I think, you know, Seattle's had their struggles this year, but... Uh... You know, I think they'll be able to win this one at home. Even, you know, you look at a team like the Panthers that came into Seattle and won, mm-hmm. but uh, I don't think you're going to get too many times like that where a team goes into Seattle and wins uh, pretty easily. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I think Arizona's going to come in. That defense will be ready for Carson Palmer, and uh, you know, Russell Wilson will get the job done. Well, after these six selections, either I'm going to be up a game on Robert, or he's going for the first time in a long time, he's going to be up on me. Wow. This and my- can you can you feel the drama, folks? And my hopes and dreams rest in Tom Brady's wow. hands. Wow, no kidding. Just as we just as we play, drew it up. All right, folks, that's it for another week. I'm going to cut this short. Enjoy the games. Have a great weekend. Stay safe, folks. We'll see you next week.